That's right, you know what it is, your boy Trendsetter Sense, and of course, this is Chosen Journey, and I have the pleasure of having an icon, a legend, one of the most hmm, powerful voices uh, beyond gospel, mainstream, actress, uh, syndicated radio show host. The icon is here, Yolanda Adams. How are you? Oh, man. Thank you it's, for having me on your platform. Thank, thank you yeah, for, man, just for your time and for just coming to, you know, share this amazing story and this journey. Yes. And, you know, um, speaking of your journey, this chosen journey, um, 13 years since. since this the out. last studio project. Okay. Yeah, because people are like, man, you, 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 no, no, this is out. This is solo project fourteen. Okay. Because I've done movie soundtracks, TV soundtracks, all kinds of stuff. Right. In between there. Yeah. You know. Sunny days. Yes. Ah! <laughs> so excited. Talk about it, please. Sunny days is the new project. And uh, I'm really excited about it because it was like a four-year journey from 2018 to now. Uh, and, you know, the world went through a whole pandemic and all that right. kind of stuff. Jim right. Jam and Terry Lewis got busy. I got busy. Donald Lawrence got busy. Ooh. Sir the Baptist got busy. Warren Ooh. Campbell <laughs> got busy. Everybody that had something to do with the project got busy between 2018 and 2023. Mm. And you know how life is, and you just say, if it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. Right. And when it happens, that's the perfect time for it to happen. Right. And that's what happened with Sunny Day. Just that simple. Just that simple. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's talk about Church Doors. Yes. And I want to specify on these lyrics right here. Okay. I heard the spirits say, mm -hmm. girl, you're not done yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. What, in, what was the inspiration and the message behind that? Well, first of all, Donna Lawrence and Sir the Baptist are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And we got on a Zoom call and I said, guys, listen, I want a song that expresses, first of all, my faith. But then it also encourages people to tell other folks how good God is to you. Mm -hmm. And so having said all of that, it had to start with me first. Right. And then from me. Right, right. And so there are a lot of times when you think that, you know, you've accomplished everything. I have practically every award you can absolutely get. Wow. Except for the two, and we're working on those. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and that's the Oscar and the Emmy. Uh, so I have all of, you know, been nominated for all kinds of stuff. And you think at a certain age, when you get to that age, you're like, oh, okay, I can chill, I can, you know, yeah. just, you know, enjoy my life. And guys like, no, no it's more, I got more work a to do. whole bunch of other stuff for you to do. Right. And it's gonna be fun. Okay. And so that's where I heard the spirit say, girl, you're not done, you mm. ain't seen nothing yet, because mm. your best is yet to come. Wow. And then my part said, hey, when you let me make it to the church doors, whatever the church doors are, because mm. the church doors can be the White House, Okay. Because I've been there several times. Right, right, it right. It can be um, Carnegie Hall. Okay. I've been there several times. It can mm. be uh, Wembley Stadium okay. in London. Okay. You know? So it can be wherever I am. I'll te tell everyone how good you are. That's so interesting that you mentioned that because um, listening to the song, I was like, okay, she's just talking about just the church doors are going to the church, and then now it can be, it's just anywhere. Because God has blessed me to go into different places where a lot of gospel artists don't go wow. or don't get the invitation to go. Wow. Um, I have been a staple in the BET system. Mm. I've been a staple in the Grammy system. Mm. I've been a staple in the American Music Awards system. Iconic. And some of those systems, you know, you don't really get a chance to go to mm. uh, when you sing, you know, gospel music, inspirational music. But the amazing thing is God has given me the personality and you know, and the wherewithal to be able to move into all kinds of spaces and never compromise because I always say my basis of doing anything is love. Absolutely. And if I can't go anywhere in the world and represent love, something's wrong with me and I need to think about getting another job. Wow. 
Yolanda Adams is here. Of course, this is Chosen Journey. I wanted to dive into another song off the Sunny Days okay. album. Can I love somebody the way I want to be loved? Yeah. Okay, you say, I am conflicted by the things I see. Am I worthy of all that love should be? Can you take us through that emotion? Well, first of all, Terry Lewis is a mm. lyrical genius. Mm. I said it, yes. Is this my camera? Because <laughs> I'm just, you know, I just want y'all to know. Terry Lewis of the duo, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, is a lyricist bar none. And so we, as we were writing, because, you know, he and I and Jimmy Jam, we write everything that we do. Mm. And we started discussing some things because I've known him for close to 30 years. And he, and he came up with this concept of, can I love somebody the way I want to be loved? Right. I said, that's a long title. He said, I know. But that'll get <laughs> people's attention. Right, right. And the lyric, am I conflicted by the things I see? Am I worthy of all that love can be? Hmm. Is asking the question, am I conflicted by social media? Am I conflicted by, you know, the, the dating scene? Am I conflicted by the marriage scene? Am I conflicted by... Right what my eyes can see mm. and am I worthy of all that love can be? I know I'm worthy because God made me worthy, mm -hmm. but am I feeling unworthy? Mm. Because there's a difference in being unworthy and feeling unworthy. I know I'm worthy because I'm made in God's image. Right. So I'm worthy of whatever God gives me, but do I feel in my heart that I deserve that? Wow. So you have to make that distinction. Mm. And can I love somebody the way I want to be loved? Mm. And do they need me to love them like I need to be loved? Mm. Because we found uh, with all of these seven uh, ways to love and all, you know, all these books and stuff right, right. that people have different love languages. But am I willing to give what I want? Wow. Am I willing to give patience? Am I willing to give forgiveness? Am I willing to sacrifice and be that person that that other person needs, mm. whether I get what I want or not? Wow, selflessness. Yeah, so it gets real deep. Y'all just gotta get the album because it gets really, really deep. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have the iconic Yolanda Adams here, and you know, you were talking about, you know, all the awards and and and, and just the all the things that the accomplishments. And we've been talking, you just talked about um, your last moment with being worthy. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular gratifying moment that Yolanda Adams can, that just sticks out to you? Oh my gosh, my whole life. Yeah. Because, I mean, think about it. To be able to do what you love to do on a daily basis, I mean, you're living in that because you're, you know, you have this amazing show and you're blessing so many people through it. But to be able to do what you love to do on a daily basis for this many years and mm. people still want to hear you, wow. they still want to come out and see you, they, you know, they spend their money because mm -hmm. they could be anywhere else. Yeah. You know, it's like, whoa, I am just grateful. Of course, uh, getting your first record deal is always a big deal. Right, right, right. And then getting married is a big deal. <laughs> Having a child is Family, a big deal. motherhood. Motherhood. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and, and again, the accolades, because we don't do them for the accolades, but it's nice to get them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I remember my first Grammy moment. I remember my first BET moment. I remember mm. my first Soul Train moment. Right. So those things are very, very special. Wow. But we don't have enough time because, you know, I, I can it, be it, here on all, will, day, all day. And you, <laughs> but with the excitement because it never gets old. Right. Right. It never gets old. Being nominated never gets old. Yeah. You know, winning, it never gets old. Doing mm. an acceptance speech it never gets old. So it's like I am a testament of if mm. you stay focused. Love God with all your heart. Mm. Love people because you got to love people if you're in a people business. Right. If you do not like people, let, let me say, let me talk to you in the camera mm. who are looking at, <laughs> looking at us and saying, I want to do what y'all do. Mm. You got to love people because we still live in a people world. Mm. There are 8 billion of us on this earth. And so 
Make sure that when you do what you do, love is the basis from everything, and then everything else can springboard from it. Mm. Yeah. So amazing. What I like to always um, ask my guests at the end of our interview, I always like to have a salvation. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Having a salvation? Oh, I don't mind at all. Uh, I'm looking at, look, yeah, I'm looking at, hey, 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 you. The yeah. iconic <laughs> Yolanda Adams. I am just really excited about uh, letting you know that God loves you beyond all love. It's not, um, you know, real stringent and all of that kind of stuff. He loves you. Mm. Let's just start with that. You are so loved. You are so cared for. So much so that you are tuned in to see me. And you had no idea I was coming, did you? Uh-uh. <laughs> I didn't know either. But you know what? <laughs> God has a beautiful plan for your life. And all you have to do is just say yes. That's it. Mm. Say yes. Yes, God, I will do your will. Yes, God, I will go where you want me to go. Yes, God, I will represent you to the fullest when I get there. Wherever you send me, that's where I'll go. And guess what? It's just that simple. It's that simple. Just say, yes, God. You don't have to raise your hands like me, but you can just say, yes, God, I am here. I'm ready. Whatever you want me to do from this moment on, because your past, God doesn't care about your past. He knew about that. And he knew you were going to do what you do, did when you did it. <laughs> and he still loves you to pieces. Okay. Mm. So make sure that you make God first priority. You've already said yes. Now accept his son. Mm. His son did so much for you on that cross. And that cross represents your life turning over to brand new right now. So again, hey Jesus, glad you're my brother. Make sure that I recognize you every single day. I bring you into my heart. I put you first place in my heart so that I don't think that I'm in this earth by myself and I'm walking this thing by myself. It's real simple. You know, I'm trying to give you a a little explanation, because I know y'all need explanations a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to know how simple it is. Again, Jesus, I love you. Thank you so much for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for cleansing me from my sins. And I, from this day forth, will live for you. And I will do all that I can to make sure that I show people how cool God is. Mm. And that's it. Amen. Amen. The iconic Yolanda Adams, Sunny Days album. Uh, we have the book. Points of Power. Yes. We're also working on Points of Power 2. Mm. And I'm working on a new book that that's called As I See It. As I See It. As I See It. Mm. Because I have 62 years of living. Wow. That I'm really excited about. And I want young people to understand that life is not over at 30. Please, <laughs> child, listen. It only gets good at 30 because now you're aware of who you are. You're aware of your strengths. You're aware of your power. Mm. You're aware of your voice. And so once you understand that you have all of this in you and God made you so amazing, man, half of the battle is over. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. So amazing. we're working on this book as I see it. As I see it, mm -hmm. reunion tour, amazing. Reunion tour. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kirk Franklin, Fred Hammond, Marvin Sapp, the Clark sisters, myself, Kiara Sheard. We are having a ball crisscrossing the United States, and hopefully, we can do some overseas travel wow. with it because it is it's phenomenal, and every night is is just explosive. Wow. The iconic Yolanda Adams, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me again. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. You see what it is? Trendsetter Sense, Yolanda Adams, and of course, this is Chosen Journey.